Let's play hockey. Face off one by the Tigers. Through center ice, it's not round the boards. Behind Jordan Headley, Griffin will retrieve it. Kept it close to him, Solder will play it to Gulliver. Gulliver will turn. It's tipped forward and now Max Stewart's gonna bring it across the blue line. Salisbury, put under pressure by Landsberg, but it's a good pass across to Nags. Nags with a cross ice path. Venus, around the boards. Sisters put under pressure by Rose Mitchell King. The arm is raised by the ref. And a penalty is called for tripping to Rutkus. Rutkus drops it to Stewart. Stewart looking for options. It's a great pass to Solder. Solder, good puck control. Brown near the blue line. Has a shot. It's gone through Brad Day. And the first goal of the night goes to the Milton Keynes Lightning. And it's Ben Brown with a wrist shot not far from the blue line. Brad Day was caught unsighted. And it's a power play goal for the Lightning. 1-0. Just had time and space to pick his spot. And the wrister goes past Day. Good screening by Corey McEwen. He might have even got a touch on it. It gets stuck by Archie Salisbury. Nags. Good pass and central ice. County's going to go on an amazing run. He's through. Backhand. The backhand off the bar. It was almost a complete carbon copy of his goal against Hull last week. Fielder. Rips it round the boards and Martelli's going to retrieve it, but he's not without some pressure from Byrne. Max Stewart, it's a two on one. Field across the blue line. Stewart, field, goal! That's how you score. Counter attack there from Max Stewart and Callum Field was arriving. All Max Stewart had to do was saucer pass it over the defender. And Callum Field gets his second goal of the season to make it 2-0 for the Lightning. It was a great play from Max Stewart across the blue line. It's left the zone and Goodison will just play it back. But McEwen in centre ice, past his man. He's through on goal, Carter Hamill's coming through. It's back to Tom's Rockkiss though. And Rockkiss fires a ripper over the glove of Brad Day. And we're not even 10 minutes in. And the Lightning are 3-0 up on the Tigers. It's good play there from Corey McEwen, who had options with Carter Hamill coming in on the other side. But the Telford man just left Rutkis free. Rutkis had the time and space. And it's a timeout, I think, for the Telford Tigers. McKenzie. Under control to Mitchell King. Mitchell King shot just goes wide. Headley was sprawn. Mitchell King. It's a great shot there by Skaleski and he gets the Tigers on the board. It's a good pass by McKenzie. Skaleski's in space in the middle. His wrist shot takes it past Jordan Headley. And that is Skaleski's fifth goal of the season. 12th point for him. And an assist from Scott McKenzie gets his 12th point as well. He has it. Can they get the shot off? Martelli has to shoot, but there's not enough time for Lightning to get another. And as Puck drop for the second. Let's play hockey. County's going to put pressure under Mitchell King, but Mitchell King will win it back. He's in neutral ice and... It's into the corner and now Ferguson's going to put Solder under pressure. Solder pins him up. And now there's two Lightning men against the boards. Carry Ironing will retrieve it. Against the boards, Howells miscontrols it and Rutkis will come away with it. McEwen, great top shelf finish from Corey McEwen. He had time, he had space. Loses out on it. Gulliver will try and get it under control. Cowney to Gulliver, Gulliver. His shot was over the bar and into the netting. Across the blue line, Carter Hamill, tied up by Newell. And now it's a two on one here, Smith and Luca. Smith finds the pass for Luca and Luca fans on the shot. Plays it through the middle, isn't able to get a stick on it. 
on the blue line. Wallace, Venus, good source of pass. Great stick control. And it's Jordan County on the score sheet for the Lightning. Great stick control by him. Just to deke it past. Brad Day, who was scrambling for the puck and wasn't able to get it. And it's 5-1 to the Pucky vs Milton Keynes Lightning. Day was scrambling. And they're on hand to score the goal. County's on fire. McKenzie. A first-time shot from McKenzie. They say you're at your most, most vulnerable when you've just scored. And Scott McKenzie scores for the sixth game straight. I said in the first period he's one to look out for. And it was at the back. Malik Martelli loses out on the puck. And who's there in acres of space? The man you don't want it to be. Captain for the Tigers lifts it over the glove side of Jordan Headley. Field isn't able to get the tip. Nags tries to saucer it into the zone and it's Smith that will come away with it. Turns on a knife edge. Saved by Headley. Saved again by Headley. Across. Triple saved by Jordan Headley, but it isn't enough. And Telford make the lightning pay for some sloppy defending. And it's 5-3. Telford fans who have been vocal most of the game are waking up a little bit more. And it's Louis Newell scored here last time against the Lightning in the playoffs. And it's a two-goal game now. He'll skate forward. He's got long strides. He passes it to Luca. Luca. Skoleski. Looking for an option. Luca. First time slap shot from Mitchell King. Gone over, and a counter-attack is on. 20 seconds left. Hamill. Shoes is deflected wide. He had Tim Wallace for support and didn't use him. And with five seconds left of this power play, Skoleski needs to get a shot off. Mitchell King will get the shot off. It's pad saved. And that will be the end. We're ready, let's play hockey. Face off win for the Lightning, Ben Solder clears it and Luca will retrieve it. Goal. Telford putting a little bit more pressure on the Lightning now, they need to try and find a goal from somewhere to lift the spirits. Gulliver tries to clear the zone, Mitchell King keeps it in. Shot there. And Ferguson will try and get the pass across ice but fans on it. Ferguson, it's a good tip there from Tom's Ruckus who gives it to Ben Brown. Brown and Field. Brown fans on it but keeps hold of it. Brown around the net, tries to wrap around. It's out in front. Field can't get a hold of it. Max Stewart is still there. Ice cold, Max Stewart. With the time, with the space. Behind the net as Brad Day was scrambling to get back in his crease. He was found out and Max Stewart had all the time in Milton Keynes to get the puck under control. Tries to pass it to Spadafore and Spadafore takes it out the zone but Venus will come across the zone. Venus past his man. He's the Venus. He's on fire. MK's desire. Milwaukee Kings Lightning 7. Telford Tigers 3. That is class. Passed his man expertly. And roofs it above Brad Day. And it is 7 3 to the Lightning. They've got their four goal cushion back. How long will this one last? Griffin to Rutkus. 
Ruckus across the blue line. Checks back. Cowney's in space. Cowney off the crossbar. Lightning are firing now. Solder keeps in company. Byrne isn't able to get the pass through and now he's surrounded by Field and Solder. And now Solder gives it to Gulliver. Gulliver's going to try and get past his man. Arm raised. Penalty called. Just to tip it wide. Good pass from Susters to Venus. Venus to Wallace. Wallace back to Venus. Venus to Susters. Susters shot. One, two, three. What a goal from Martin Susters. A great pass from the blue line from Tim Wallace to Ross Venus. Venus picks out Susters. And Susters lifts it over the near post. There cannot have been much room to aim for. And like a lot of his goals so far this season, Martin Susters finds space where no one else can from Telford. Telford win the face off. Rutkis gives it to Hamill. Hamill has a bit of a fan shot, but it's ended 8-3 on the night. And it is Scott McKenzie, the captain of the Tigers, getting the man of the match for them. Another goal for him. And he did get an assist as well. 13 points from eight games. He is their joint top point scorer with Skoleski. Then, down in Slough, Berkshire Bees beat the Solway Sharks 5-3. In the link centre, it's Swindon 7, Peterborough 3. That ended as a final score. And it's still in the third period of Sheffield versus Romford, but it is the Steel Dogs 2, the Romford Raiders 4. Not now the home man of the match today. And it is Max Stewart, the man who picks up the man of the match tonight. Solid performance from him. He seemed to be everywhere for the Lightning tonight. Got an assist on the first goal, assist on the second goal, scored the sixth goal. 